Mr. Knight Wagner Knight, welcome back to the announce table. Been a while, man. Good to see you. Good to have your insight. Well, that was a pretty good build up to the type of person I am, but let's face it, it could have been a great build up. You need a lot more adjectives, a lot more verbs. You need a lot more vocabulary if you're going to describe how amazing I am. And yes, I am back at commentary with you, about to scout some more talent for the night. Well, I tell you what, you picked a hell of a night to be in the proving ground. Otherwise, I know you already know that or you wouldn't be sitting here. And right now tonight, we have got one of the longest tenured tag teams in the proving ground making their way down here, the perfect addiction. And what's interesting, Randy Ray and Perry Winkle, I know you haven't been here for a while. Perry got injured, got a broken collarbone, been out of action for a while. And during that time, he has tried to help Randy Ray in various singles and tag situations. They cannot get on the same page when they're not tagging together, Knight. This has been a real problem for him. I've definitely seen his face around, and it takes a little bit of adjustment to come back from injury like a broken collarbone. But if he finds all that potential that he had before he got his injury, if he can concentrate on what makes him great, then I'm sure he can come back and do just fine. It's just going to take one more win to get him that confidence that he needs back. Well, it is great to see Perry back in the ring. I tell you what, these are a couple of scallywags. They got some shenanigans. I know you'll respect that about them. But I tell you what, I no matter what you say, I hope they can get back on the same big, same page because as a unit, Randy and Perry are no joke. They can take anybody in the business, as they say, on a given night. These guys have got a ton of talent in there if they can stay on that same page as they. Well, I don't really care what the crowd thinks about people who come out to the ring or the size of their nipples. At the end of the day, talent is talent, whether you love them or hate them. You can only hope that they can find their stride again and show them what they're made of. That's right. What you want to see is people that want that win more than anything else in this business. Now, here we are in the proving ground. We pride ourselves on our tag team division, and we have a debut tonight out of Chicago. Are these guys new to you? Because they are new to me. They are the hot girl heroes, Tony Nass and Roy Gordon. I can't say from experience that I've seen these guys, but once I was in the locker room with them, trust me, I saw them. They are jacked. They have presence. Those are the kind of guys that you would call blue chippers, and I can guarantee you if they're going to prove something, they're going to prove a proving ground pro, and everybody's going to see them do it. Well, I'll tell you what. They're putting themselves on the map up in the Chicago area for at least three or four different promotions up there, but these are guys that are now looking to get out farther than just the, that one metro area, start to spread that reputation, start to show the skills you may have noticed upstairs earlier. And uh, here they are right now making their way to the ring. And I tell you what, they look like they've got everything you need. They look like they know their way to the gym. A couple big tough guys. We know they've won some big matches up in Chicago because they've held titles for a few promotions up there. So I think they've got a lot to offer. But they're also meeting a very, very cohesive team in the perfect addiction. And they don't know what the rule book looks like. So this could go either way. Well, right now one notable win and everybody's going to notice you. Oh, it's not like the old days. You definitely got an advantage on scouting talent now in the age of the internet. That, that is no doubt. But the uh, they call this place Proving Ground Pro. They're going to prove something here tonight. Both these teams do have a lot to prove. The Perfect Addiction, despite being here a long time, they've had some huge wins, but they've also had some tough losses. They would really like really like to get themselves back on that winning track, back in that title contention. And with Winkle back from, from, from the injured list, the IR, this could be the time to happen. But, wow, what a tough card to draw and what a great debut to see in the Hot Girl Heroes here. HGH versus the Perfect Addiction. Wow, Knight, this is fantastic stuff. And what a great time for you to check out some talent. And we've got a match. And, wow, look at that. Roy Gordon sneaks in a quick forearm on Periwinkle. Deceptively quick. I mean, as big as these guys are, you wouldn't expect them to move as quick as they are, but right away they're surprising them. And look over there. You could already see a little of that miscommunication still brewing in the corner of the perfect addiction. Well, you know, they, uh, they've had uh, lots to go through lately. I mean, you said it yourself, broken collarbone, a couple of tough losses, but Proving Ground Pro isn't just a place where you make an impact for the first time. Sometimes about proving you didn't lose what you once had. And the thing here is we try not to have an easy night for anybody because that's what everybody wants to see in the world of independent pro wrestling. 
balance contests with real up and coming stars. And this is the kind of match that gives you that. And look at Roy Gordon control the action on Randy Ray. As soon as I said it though, Randy Ray managed to escape out of it. Well, you said it yourself, I haven't been here in a couple of months, but I can only assume that, uh, let's see, the, the two guys over Randy Ray and who was the other one again? I'm Perry Winkle. Perry Winkle. I can only assume that they've been having competitive matches. They're losing in two or three minutes for God's sake. They clearly have some talent. They have something to prove. More than They're some talent. They've been on the cusp of the PGP tag titles. I'd be more worried if they were coming out and losing quick. They clearly have some fight. So this is more of a not do they have what it takes. It's more of a is Perry Winkle well he healed and can they get that back? And meanwhile, look, Roy Gordon has done nothing but control action since he got in that ring. Uh, look at that guy. I mean, if you just look in his eyes, you can see all the presence in the world, all the confidence. This guy has good breeding, has good training. He's, he's Why wouldn't you be confident? What is that? Every bit of 6'3", six, 6'4", six, built absolutely without an ounce of fat on him. He looks like he could go all night in that ring. Now look at that. He's got a little bit of a smile on his face. Other guy think Randy Ray thinks he's on top, but just a matter of time, biding his time. No doubt uh, Ray and Winkle are at a size disadvantage in this match. There's no question about that. I think probably experience as a team may fall somewhat in the favor of perfect addiction, but probably not by a long, long stretch. Uh, Level of competition, probably about a dead heat for the most part. Absolutely. I mean, oh, a nice shoulder by Randy Ray. Look at that. Randy Ray is on top. He's feeling that confidence. Can he keep it up, though? Oh, but nice elevation. Nice hops and a nice clean drop came from Gordon. And you know, HGH, they might be built like trucks and have all the confidence in the world, but at the end of the day, you said it yourself. Perfect Addiction has experience, and it doesn't matter how well you are or how confident you are. All it takes is someone with a little trick up their sleeve to take their night and deflate it. Oh, whoa, oh, what a huge lariat from Tony Nass out of nowhere. And a oh, two count, and, and that's Nass, right. He looks like he's having a lot of fun beating the crap out of this dude. And I won't kid you, like you said, Perfect Addiction, they'll beat you dirty and they don't mind a bit as long as they beat you. They might be new, but they clearly know what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, they have got some teamwork here. Look at them. Oh, they're destroying the arm of Randy Ray. This is just classic technical wrestling right here. Take away one of the limbs, he's going to be at a disadvantage for the rest of the match. And keeping him right there. Almost in their corner, definitely on their half of the ring. Classic tag team. This guy's got some strikes under his belt. It looks like he's had some practice more than just professional wrestling. Those are some high-powered, well-placed strikes from, from Roy Gordon. And now Tony Nass is back in. Oh, and Roy, what hops up and over and down. Randy Ray, he's absolutely being brutalized. And that's some classic tag team wrestling maneuvers right there. Maybe drawing some inspiration from some of the uh, people they looked up to over time. Man, oh man, the hot girl heroes. HGH looking like a million bucks right out of the gate. Oh, the blind tag. That has served tag teams well for a, a long time coming. That's one of those tricks I was talking to you about. The newcomers didn't see the blind tag. Got confused and just caught one right in the mush. Oh, but speaking of caught in the mush, turning the tables, Perry Winkle's in trouble instantly. Tony Nass, the big man, took advantage. Oh, oh but a nice knee to the back. What he lacked in experience, he made up for in resilience there. And he oh. It, it is hard to overcome the physicality right now, no matter what they're doing. But look at that. Look at that generalship from the partner outside the ring. That right there, just another example of experience. Now Tony Nass is down on the ground. And Brad Fox didn't see it, but he knows what happened. He has to know. Well, you so, know, a place like Proving Ground Pro is also a place for referees to prove a little something. Sometimes you get a guy that's not able to see all the action. He's going to gain that experience, too, but right now. You got perfect addiction able to take advantage of his Oh, wait a minute. This might be the experience they need to want to. Oh, well, I'm not going to lie to you tonight. We tell these guys, don't rush to a count out. Don't rush to a DQ. We want these guys to fight. We want to see a conclusion inside that ring if there's any damn way possible. So, yeah, the rules are a little lax here sometimes. But I feel like that, you know, 
adds to the fight. Well, I don't think a lot of people realize that guys like Perfect Addiction, they might be taking advantage of the rules, but they're also taking advantage of the referee. That's kind of how you find those. You have to know your environment. You have to game plan for that. And when you know that's what you can get away with, I think you better damn well do it. I absolutely agree. I will take anybody that's finding any way to win. Oh, and what? Wow, did you see Winkle laying that haymaker? Now, Perry Winkle is absolutely laying in some lumber for his fists. Way he is getting every ounce out of that frame. He may not be as big, but he might know the technique to make that punch a lot deadlier. And right into the temple, too. He had to scramble Tony Noss on that shot. Now, look at that wide open for Randy Ray to come in and take full advantage. Tony Noss looks like he's on dream street. He's doing anything he can to fight back. Oh! oh the definition of out of nowhere. Oh, wow. What a much needed neck breaker out of nowhere. I thought that might have been a three. Randy Ray, that was slick and smooth. He just parked. He just saved his partner's life by breaking that one up. Yeah, Roy Gordon was on top of him. That's a big part of tag team wrestling, staying in the game, keeping an eye on your partner, being ready to get in there and save his bacon if you have to. See, look at that. Oh, look at him. Oh, man. And there's a perfect example of what I mean. We don't want these matches to stop too damn quick. And there's a hot young temper right there being taken advantage of, too. Oh, but look at Wiggle. That's taking it a little far away into those big haymakers. That's a mugging. That's taking what you can do and taking it a mile farther. But I tell you what, I guess if you can get away with it, you need to get away with it. And they need to. They're at a size and strength disadvantage. you got to use every trick in your book. And right now the perfect addiction is showing some of that confidence and that swag needed in order to get back to where they used to be, get some big wins under their belt. But there's no easy way around size and strength. That can come back to haunt you at any point in a wrestling match night. There's no two ways about that. Wrestling's a big man's game most of the time. And most of the time, it looks like that young guy is not falling for the same trick twice, not getting in the ring. I know he wants to help his partner, but he knows better now. Oh, another tag right in their corner. Nice little snap, Mayor. Look, Tony Nass is set up for something from Randy Ray. Oh, and a big boot right across the mush. Yeah, foot of the mouth never feels good. Randy Ray goes in for that cover. You know what, though? He wasted a little time looking out at that crowd and uh, admonishing them for hating on him. I'm not going to lie. He wasted a second on his way to that pin night. Uh, you, can never, uh, you can never take the crowd seriously. I don't care if they love or hate you. You have to ignore them. Oh, no. What a reversal from Tony Nass. Boy, did he need it right there. He needs to stop him. Oh, but what a cutoff from Randy Ray. That's called ring awareness. That's called knowing your environment. Just like you said, that's where that experience factor comes into play. The last thing he wants is for him to tag out. Man, oh man, they've got some damage on Nass. They need to drag him back to their corner and continue the damage, or this could swing away from him. Every bit of momentum they've earned right now could disappear in a second. Oh, here we go. Looks like the perfect addiction is back on their A game. They've definitely isolated Tony Mass in the wrong side of town. That's absolutely where they want him, as far away from his partner as he can possibly be right now. Taking full advantage of that time they can be in there together. And look at that. They got five seconds. He, he knows it too. Five seconds. The, the perfect addiction looks like they are getting back on the same page finally. I'm not going to lie. That was a nice tandem. I mean, chicanery, dirty tactics, call it what you will. They're on the same page and they're trying to win this match. Perry Winkle is all over a guy twice his size and making it look easy. That should show you just how in control they are. Well, he does call himself the master of swag. <laughs> nice double team maneuver here. What do we got? Oh! That's good teamwork uh, right there. Up, over, and down. This could be it for NASA. Look at Roy Gordon reaching in. He was able to reach him from all the way from the apron. I tell you what, that long frame paid dividends there. But the old boot laces right across the ice twice. And drug back to the wrong part of town. Tony Nass is in trouble and the perfect addiction absolutely firing on to all cylinders. They are smothering this guy. He looks like he's having trouble breathing. Oh no, the shoulder duck. One and a big elbow to the other. 
Tony Nash really needed that. Oh, no! That is the last thing that they needed. Oh, they are not on the same page anymore. That was a huge mistake. Oh, my God! Winkle was nearly driven through the map by Tony Nash. How do we still have a ring? And Tony Nass is feeling it, and Winkle's so rocked, he's going to the wrong damn corner. I bet he wishes he could tag that guy in, because right now they're about to go wild. Oh, and a hot tag, and look, here comes oh, Tony Nass. Oh. And wait, where'd Randy Ray? Oh, Winkle's in trouble. Where the hell did Randy Ray go? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, this has gone, gone completely off the rails, I Wagner. Winkle's in real, real trouble here. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to turn around. Oh, no. Perry Winkle. Oh, sweet Jesus. He took a double team move with Randy and nowhere in sight. He's done. An easy three count. Winkle down and out. And the hot girl heroes, HGH, with a huge win in their debut. Wow, what a match. What a night in hollow ground. Knight Wagner, this is absolutely fantastic. Wait a minute, does he have the house mark night? You like that? You all respond to that. You pigs all respond to Havana. Wait a minute, this doesn't look good, Knight. Randy Ray thinks Perry Winkle is the weak link in the perfect addiction. He is reading in the riot act, Night Wagner. Randy is absolutely blaming all those woes I told about are coming over to roost on Winkle right now. All those shows not on the same page. This is coming back to Hall Winkle right now. And what a terrible time after he's been double teamed by the hot girl heroes. I'm not alive. I'm Oh my god! These two men are two of PGP originals. The perfect addiction has been here since virtually day one, Night Wagner. What the hell are we seeing here? It's the end of the addiction. Wait. Randy, no, don't take this too far, Randy. No! Oh my God, Knight Wagner, Randy Ray is looking to more than just end this. And he knows that his partner's fresh off a broken collarbone, fresh off the injured reserve list. 
Are you kidding me? Stop, Randy, no! Jared Kane! Brian Fox! Jason Pemberton! All the refs are hitting the ring right now! Randy Ray, he's got a chance. There's Jesse Matthews! Randy Ray's done lost his mind in there, Night Wagon. He absolutely wants to re break that collarbone, Night Wagon. There's not a doubt in my mind. Look at the way that tears that up. Jesse Matthews and the referees are begging him not to break Perry Wicket's collarbone again. And Randy Ray, he's not even a pet coon. He could just do this night. There's no doubt about it. I think Jesse's finally making it making a little bit of headway with them. Alright, he didn't use a chair. Got... Alright, let's oh you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did he snap that collarbone again? And he waves out of here, out the back door. And he, Knight, he had to re-break that collarbone. How could he not have? Well, that guy's going to go and uh, get an x-ray. And You've seen a million injuries in this business. He had to re-break that collarbone. How could he not have? How, this kid is barely back off the IR. Well, he had the unfortunate uh, luck of tagging up with someone who's uh, pretty bitter and willing to blame all their problems on one guy, not themselves. Wow. I, I knew they hadn't been on the same page. I knew there was trouble brewing, but I'm not going to lie to you. I never, ever thought it would come to this with these two guys. I know they're dastardly. I know they, they would do anything to win, but I did not see them turning on each other at this time. Oh, my God. God, and Periwinkle, this may be the end of a career. Uh, a second potential break that quickly? Well, I can only imagine in Randy Ray's mind that ending one guy's career is only the beginning of his own. There's no way that can heal right if he rebroke it again this quickly. Now he's got a lot of rehab, a lot of doctor's appointments to look forward to now. My God, the end of the perfect addiction. It's like seeing the end of an era right here in PGP night. Wow. Perfect addiction just got clean. Well, that was a hell of a match. And uh, the Hot Girl Heroes, they uh, they look fantastic. Yeah, not to let this be the rain on the parade, but the Hot Girl Heroes are someone that are our team to look out for. But, don't let this overshadow that. No, but let's face it, this is tomorrow's headline. Perfect addiction explodes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>